Hi, Don Grierson. Um, obviously, when you get to the point where you uh, feel ready to take your first big step uh, and make music, record something, there is that process. The good thing uh, today is that for very few dollars, the technology can make uh, it possible to record in your home, in your bedroom, in your garage. You don't have to go to a studio like the old days. In the old days, uh, before this technology explosion in recent years, you couldn't really afford, under normal circumstances, afford to go and buy equipment and set up your home studio. It was just too expensive. So what you had to do is go to, and there were many, in many places, studios. And that can be expensive too. There are still some studios left, but many of them have gone. Um, so how do you go into a studio at two or three hundred dollars an hour to make two or three demos? It's, it's difficult and expensive. So you could, in those days, you call a studio and say, what would you charge me if I came in at three o'clock in the morning till six before you got your day going, downtime as we call it, and you could usually cut a really good deal because they'd rather have something coming back for their time than nothing. Today, that's really not realistic anymore because you can, as I said, buy equipment that is not expensive. You can use your computer. You can use your iPhone. I mean, it's possible if you know how to manipulate the technology to make great sounding, maybe not masters as we would call them, but great sounding demos to give you an identity. And remember, this is what this is all about. It's an identity. You need to create an identity for yourself. If I'm an A&R person sitting behind the desk, as I've done many for many, many years, um, I need to, and I get to hear your music, I've got to be excited for some reason. And there's varying ways you look at that. But you've got to do something. It's a sound, a voice, a style, a song. All of those things come into the analysis of making a decision as to whether this is an artist that you'd want to spend time with, maybe develop with, and maybe eventually sign a contract with. Um, and of course, on the other side of that coin in today's marketplace, it's DIY, do it yourself. You don't have to go to a label anymore. All of the rest of it is difficult, but it is possible and you can do it yourself. Production is the end all of what the music sounds like when it's released. Um, however, that's released through a label, do it yourself, online, digital, you know, even the physical form. Um, so when you think about you're going to make demos, um, or produce in some way. I think the most important thing to keep in mind is before you do that, and you can experiment you know, incredibly with the technology that's available today before you actually put the pieces together, make sure that you know exactly what you're attempting to do with your demo, um, with your production. You know, make sure that you have a song that you truly believe in, and then make sure that you are ready, if you're the singer, um, that you're ready to define that song with your sound, whatever that is, and make it stand out as best you possibly can because people in the business are looking for something that sounds a little different. Yes, we do have a tendency to follow a lot. Boy bands come in and everybody's going to be in a boy band. Britney Spears becomes this blonde young chicky and uh, everybody's going to follow. But that's not the answer. The answer is to be yourself and to be as unique as it can possibly be without getting extreme. So when you go in to make a demo, make sure that uh, you know what you're attempting to do. If it doesn't work, you can keep on doing your demos. If you actually go into production, I would hesitate to say that that's your first step. I think you go to production where you start to spend more money, maybe get a producer or an engineer to work with you. That's going to cost money and that's when you're more prepared for that move. So in the early days, focus on your real intention of what you're trying to accomplish when you create your demo, because people like myself, that's what we're looking for.